Hey, what's up, everyone? Johnny Man here, and it is great to be back doing another Foot Manager 2018 video for you. Obviously, it's been a month since the last time I did any kind of recording whatsoever. Expect lots of rustiness, expect lots of mistakes, and um, you know what? Let's get it going. Welcome back to Road to Glory. Hey everyone, once again, welcome back to Road to Glory. Today is part 20 and we are just a few games into the third season in charge of the mighty Rhoda Football Club. So, take a look at the league table and obviously it's been a month since the last time I really played this save. So, good to catch myself up. We're doing pretty well, as you can see. Uh, 12 points right now, second place in the table. Got a game in hand actually over Feyenoord. Could potentially catch them. We do play them today, actually, in this episode. Uh, we have two games for you in store. First, since Almir City, who play in the Jupiler League, which is the division below. Play them in the Cup and then we play take on Feyenoord. So, um, transfers, transfers. Trying to catch you guys up. Trying to catch myself up, to be honest with you. Um, we signed one player, Noam Renal, 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 I guess, like the uh, Formula One car. Um, young centre half, got a lot of potential, free transfer, not really paying him a lot of money. I, I think it's kind of a win win situation. It provides extra backup at the back because obviously we lost Sebastian Bassong and we're looking pretty weak at the back, if I'm going to be honest with you. But anyway, going into today's game, um, take a look at the schedule real quick. How many games were there? Three games in the last episode. Uterek, we lost 2-1. Bill got a goal there. Jeff Rennie Adelaide got the only goal against Heronveen. And most recently, a 4-2 demolition of Telstar. Two goals for Bill Goresh, other for Bill. And then Martin Spellman getting a penalty in the 45th minute. So let's get straight into today's action up against Almer City. Obviously, as I mentioned, it's been a long time since any kind of recording whatsoever. So I could be extremely rusty. So... Do keep that in mind. So anyway, here we go. You hit a US in goal. Dykhausen at right back keeps a spot ahead of Anunu. Uh, the Wolf keeps a spot ahead of Jada Silva. Bit surprising, really. He had the reverse at the start of the season. But both players have come in and done exceptionally well. Uh, Morales is going to uh, partner Boris at the back. Uh, Nascimento, of course, being the deep line playmaker. Uh, Martin Spellman and Natic from the midfield. Bit of experience heads in there, holding the team together at the spine. Uh, Jorge Desio uh, comes in for the second start. For the club extremely talented argentine international i've got really high hopes for this guy he can play as an attacking midfield and as a striker but for right now he'll play behind uh, the very talented bill as you know we can do six goals now and five appearances at a rocket start to the season and then bill garashi who has also been absolutely sublime four assists four goals five appearances and only paid one hundred and thirty-five thousand pounds for him so Bit of a bargain, I would say. Anyway, um, let's get it going. As you know, we line up of a 4-4-2 uh, four, four, diamond formation. Uh, changed from last season and a couple of seasons ago where I played variants or variety of different kind of formations. So we're sticking with this new formation for now. But let's get it going. It should be a comfortable victory. I want to get uh, this up, start this episode with a nice, easy victory so I can rotate some players out i want to do well on the cup that's one thing i do want to say i do want to do well in the cup uh just because that's a gateway to europe and that's my goal for this season i want to get back i want to get into europe well back into europe but in europe i should say anyway let's get it go chance in now spellman's gonna whip it in garashi there there's nascimento Ooh, <laughs> unlucky for vitor nascimento Obviously, he's a very, very important player for us in the holding midfield. Lucky enough, we actually have a decent amount of players that can play there this season. Natic, Simon, um, are two other players that can, I can slot in there uh, in case we want to move Mashamento forward and play a bit more of a playmaker role. Uh, right now, he's a deep line playmaker. I could use him as a Roman playmaker from that position. Probably want to be wise, though. He's pretty good at protecting the back four. Uh, here's Daniels, though, for Almir. It's a backer at the edge of the area. It's been a very tight affair so far. Here's a chance now. Oh, good effort there, Almir. Yeah, honestly, we haven't controlled the game as much as I would have liked. That's a little bit disappointing to say. Um, I'm definitely going to have a word at half time. This is not acceptable at all. And yeah, my assistant manager agrees with me. He's on the team talk for me. However, I'm a big believer in positivity. So you know what? Let's give these guys a little bit of a morale boost. See if everyone's happy. They are happy. And I will change the tactics just a little bit. We're going to go attacking. Because you know what? We should be dominating this team and we should at least be a couple of goals up by now. So uh, disappointing first half. Let's correct that here in the second. All right. Chance here for Almir. Not what I was expecting going in the second half. Good tackle there from Dijkhausen. All right. So here he comes. Galloping forward. Finds Bill. Now, Bill and Garashi have connected really well a couple of times. And there it is again. I'll tell you what. 
This is a dynamic strike force. Fantastic finish from Garashi there on a wonderful ball from Bill. Great counter-attacking stuff from the boys. Excellent indeed. Bill getting to the byline, pulling them back. An easy tap-in finish there for Garashi. who's had a poor game. He's got a 6.3 before he scored then. Um, but uh, good to see him on the score sheet. Good to see those two connecting. All right, we'll make a change in here. We'll bring on Jules Jacobs uh, for uh, Natic. Uh, we we'll use him as a Cavalero. Um Spellman is also struggling as old age, I guess. Uh, Eddie Simmons going to come on for him. Uh, playing as a Cavalero as well. Why not, indeed? I'm actually tempted to make a change up top two. You know what? Yeah, let's put, let's put Desio up top as a poacher. We'll give Bill a break. He's going to be very important for the next game. And let's bring on... Let's bring on Jeff Rennie Adelaide. He was kind of... Uh, honestly, he's he's turned into a bit more of a rotational player now. And obviously, the last couple of seasons has been a key man for me. Um, but kind of rotational now. With the likes of Desio there. And uh, Spellman playing pretty well there. And um, Paulson as well. But uh, we know his quality. It's good to have him on the bench. All right. So here's Brands now. Late chance here for Almir. Rixman crosses it in. Oh, Jesus. They've equalized. Absolutely. Schoolboy error there. Actually, it's probably my fault for leaving on attack, to be honest with you. I can't remember how it goes. I do believe it goes straight to extra time. So I might just leave it on attack for that. But again, we should be dominating this team. And honestly, it's it's been a very poor display. Yep, it is extra time. Okay, so yeah, obviously disappointing display all the way around. Uh, all right, let's get this second half roll in. Uh, obviously... Um, a little bit concerning, because, uh, oh, here's Desio now, throw on goal, no, he's offside, never mind, but anyway, a little bit concerning, because as you know, if you start to waver against a lower league opposition with your first team, usually in foot manager, that means an upset's on the card, uh, but here's Dykusen, does well here, got plenty of space to whip it in, he does, there's Garashi, it's a penalty, he missed, but it was a penalty, he has been given, who's going to step up, who's going to take the penalty, who's number 25 for us? It is Jeff Rennie Adelaide hits the crossbar and he doesn't even bother to get the rebound. That's one of the things I hate about the new match engine, by the way. You see that too many times. Striker misses the penalty and uh, instead of going after the ball again, he just stands there and watches the defender clear it. Extremely frustrating. I don't care you missed the penalty, but at least follow it up, Jeff. All right. Who are you going to go for that new no problem? All right, so still the first half here of extra time here. Should be 2-1 up if it wasn't for a penalty miss there for Natalie. Here's Garashi now. Come deep for the ball. Fans Jacobs. Back to Adelaide. Back to Garashi again. Whips the ball in. Desio with a header. Hits the top of the bar and goes over. I've got a funny feeling, Joe, folks. This is gonna not this is not gonna be our day, is it? Alright, so extra time here. I've got no more subs to make. Can't really change the shape too much. Here's uh, Van Dorm out at the Donald. You know what this does mean though? The players are most likely getting pretty tired for the final game, which is gonna be obviously the most difficult. Of tests. Here's Daniels at the edge of the area to Van Dorm. I want to say Van Doom. Here's Brands to Van Dorm. To Donald in the box and he's made it 2 1. You've got to be fucking kidding me. All right, so disaster. This is quite possibly disastrous, folk. All right, so got to make some changes, haven't we? Um, Yep, going to have to make some changes. Put him on the fin. Nascimento. Play him as a rolling playmaker. Jules Jacobs on attack. Uh, Adelaide, Shadow Striker, just start pushing people forward essentially here. This could be an absolutely embarrassing return to the uh, YouTube scene here, losing to a low league opposition in the cup. Ooh, ooh, this is going to test my patience. Here's Garashi now. Doesn't come to anything. All right, 117 minutes here. Dyke is in an advanced position. Adelaide gives the ball away, but he wins it back. There's Jacobs in the box. Weak effort. Weak, weak effort. Need to be better there, Jules. All right, so this ball's going to be launched forward. Let's see if we can win the second ball. Win it, Morala. Good stuff. Oh, great ball. Bill, Bill go throw and go. Go on, Karashi. Get in there, Belil. Get in there, my son. 117 minutes on the clock. Gets himself an equalizer. Shouldn't be in the position anyway. Should have won the game pretty comfortably, but... Oh, uh, well, we'll take it. I guess we'll go to penalties now. Yep, penalties. All right, what a great way to start. Uh, back up my YouTube career here. Penalty shoots against a low league opposition. All right, so a lot of pick. I'm not going to waste any more time. All right, so here's Lambouge. Oh, that's an awful penalty. That's an awful penalty. And actually, it's an awful camera angle. Uh, let's go to behind the goal, shall we? Here's Garashi now. 
steps up, and Belil Garashi gets his third goal of the game. All right, so here's Donald. Got himself the uh, second goal there for Almir. He's going to keep his left. Oh, I guess right, and so did Euros, but couldn't keep it out. Who's next up for Jules Jacobs? All right, Jacobs. Not known for his penalty kicks. Right-footed. Steps up. Oh, what a penalty that was. I'll tell you what, I'll be taking them more often in the future. All right, Schmidt. Schmidt versus Euros. Let me guess. Keep his right. Oh, I got it. I guessed it right again. So did Euros, but that was a good penalty. Here's Wim de Wolf promising you a fullback at the club. First penalty for the club. Let's see what he does. And that is an awful miss. Hit the top of the crossbar. Here's Brands now. Euros hopefully can save the Wolf's ass. Oh, that's a wonderful penalty. All right, so it's back on level terms. They've missed one. We've missed one. All right, here's Jorge Desio, the promising Argentine striker. Steps up. Oh, he got very, very lucky there. Keeper dived over the ball. All right, so next up, Hilterman. All right, come on, Euros. Come on, hitter. Hitter with a save. Here it is. Oh, good penalty. All right, so. Big moment. Who's up? It's Jeff Rene Adelaide, who missed a penalty already in this game. Time for redemption, Jeff. That's a long walk for him from the halfway line. All right. Come on, Jeff. Oh, he gets it this time. Off the inside of the post. Ooh, my heart was pounding there. All right, so Entuku, Nof Almir. When the uh, extra penalty spots here. Oh, he has dived the right way. Dived through the ball. Football manager-esque. All right, so who's got up now for us? Oh, Boris, a centre-half, Jan Baptiste Boris from France. Left-footed, I believe. Um, not great on the ball, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. That's exactly how I expected it would go. Jesus Christ, we just lost to Almir. Absolutely unacceptable. Oh, jeez. All right, so, well, we've got five days now to pick ourselves up and we're up against Feyenoord. Not a problem at all. All right, time to bounce back here up against Feyenoord. Uh, no easy task, of course, because, you know, Feyenoord are Feyenoord, and they've absolutely been dominating this league for quite a while. Um, changes to the side. I'm only going to make one. Um, they're going to bring in, bring in Jules Jacobs for Ogden Natic. Uh, not that Natic isn't experienced, but I do want something a little bit more mobile, and Jules Jacobs definitely fits that bill. So, team for today's lineup, basically the exact same side. That couldn't be Almir. But hopefully that was just a blip and uh, we'll, we'll get a solid positive result today. Saying that, playing at home against Feyenoord, I'm going to state honestly, if I get a draw, I'm going to be pretty happy. Um, let's see who's lining up for them. Obviously, Jorgensen is the leading line. Three goals for him so far this season. Uh, who's this guy? Dominic Nagy. Not really a familiar. He's got for himself four goals, though, believe it or not. So he's done pretty well for himself. Who's in midfield? Tony Trinde Di Valina. Should know him, but I don't. All right, so um, encourage you guys. I'm going to tell the. I'm going to tell there's more. There's they've got more in them. Again, trying to be positive. Trying to be positive. Really hard after that crappy game against Almeria. But you know what? We've got to put that behind us now. Move forward. Move forward and get to qualify for Europe via the league. That's pretty much all there is to it. All right, so we're still in the behind the goal. So let's switch back to 2D classic. Maybe that was my mistake. Unwritten law, foot manager, never change your camera angle. At least that's an unwritten rule for me. I don't know if it's true. Anyway, um, Amrabat crosses over to Burgas. There's Jorgensen. It's a wonderful ball. This is great football, isn't it? Derm gets the bar line to Jorgensen. He scores. 1-0 down, four minutes in. Fantastic. All right, second half I hear his Tornstrip puts the ball in. Dykehausen in the clearance. Only as far as Nagy could tackle there for Morala. All right, come on. Counter-attack, counter-attack. We've got quality up top. Let's use it. All right, and here's Bill. Great turn to Desio. Oh, that's Garashi now for on goal. Get in there, Belil Garashi. Assist from Jorge Desio. And uh, the three are combined. And tell you what, they're going to be a terrible trio for any opposition defense this year. Desio, Bill, Garashi. That's a wonderfully weighted ball. Great uh, run as well from Garashi. Good first touch. Beautiful finish past the goalkeeper. 1 1, back on level terms. Get in there. All right. Chance now for Feyenoord. I got too much space down the left. Not quite sure why I got so much space. And Morales is given a penalty here against Jorgensen. Oh, Morales, Morales. I mean, uh, I was worried about this game in particular because uh, Jorgensen. 
Unfortunately, it's a much, much more physical striker than the uh, our young centre-halves could possibly handle. Didn't really have any other options, though, unfortunately, to bring in. Um, a tauncher there tucked it away the penalty 2-1. But honestly, I kind of expected this to happen. Jorgensen's going to be a pain in the ass all game long. All right, so here we're at halftime. 2-1 down. Honestly, we're not doing too badly. We're still in this game. And especially when we got the quality we have up top. I, I still think we can get something out of it. But we definitely got to tighten up a lot more at the back. Um, I'm tempted to play Nash and Men I'm tempted to bring on uh, Simon, actually, to play as a defensive midfielder on defend. Play Nash and Mento a bit more advanced on a playmaker role. Because he can definitely influence the midfield a little bit better than perhaps Jacobs or uh, Spellman can right now. But that's something to think about, maybe a little bit in. All right, that change I talked about, I'm going to make it. In fact, I'm going to put Nascimento forward. I'm going to use him as a playmaker primarily, where he is an advanced playmaker. Uh, Jacobs obviously is going to come off. Uh, Eddie Simmons is going to come on. Eddie Simmons is going to play as a defense midfielder on defend just to help attack Boris and Morale, who both had really bad games, to be honest with you. Um, up top as well, Bill struggling. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to switch him around a little bit. I'm going to put Bill as a complete forward on support. Garashi on attack. Option on the bench. Not a lot really to speak of. Joey Conins could bring him on. He always does a job for me. Jeff Rennie Adelaide maybe. Fidesio. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so 10 minutes, 10 minutes and we'll make another change if we have to. All right. Still no more chances. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go on attack. And uh, we're going to make a change up top. We're going to bring off Bill. He's had a bit of a poor game, hasn't he? Um... Desio can be a poacher. Garashi. Put in both poachers, why not? And then Bill, what we do actually, we'll have Joey Conins as a shadow striker. There you go. Why not give it a go? Only one goal away here from getting to something out of this game. And obviously that would be a fantastic result. So come on, boys, we've got about uh, five minutes left to go in this game. At least create one opportunity. That would be. That would be sublime if you could. All right, so three minutes battle on time. So here's Tornstra now. It's a Van der Heiden. Someone's got to close him down. And he's someone pushes him out wide, so we'll take it. There's Durham now. He's played very well for them. Sigurdsson to Jorgensen. 3-1. Game set match for Nord. All right, back to the drawing board, I suppose, for the next game. All right, so yeah, unfortunately, he did finish 3-1. No other action in the game. Um, all right, so we'll take a look at this real quick. Obviously, we lost the last two games. Now, Almir was a disappointing result, and I really think it knocked the, the confidence out of the team. And then Feyenoord, which is the better squad, better team, to be honest with you. So we do have to pick ourselves up, though. We've got some big fixtures ahead of us. Um, NEC and Den Haag. Um, we should be able to get wins against those two sides. Ajax is going to be a tough one, Willem. Um, it's going to be difficult as well away from home. So we're going to do the next game. We're actually going to... We're actually going to sip to Sparta and FC Trance. Uh, we're going to play these two two teams in the very next episode. Um, but yeah, really, that's really about it. It's great to be back doing videos again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, are looking forward to getting back into the save again. we got a quality, number of quality young players in the squad to make the save very exciting. As you can see, the oldest player by far is Martin Spellman. Then we got 27 players in the prime. So this, this team has a lot of growing to do. As you see, the majority of players are 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, I feel this save is going to be pretty special. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Um, but other saves in the future, I'm going to do a little announcement video on the side on a different day to talk about the saves on the channel and uh, get your feedback on what I should continue, what I should stop, things like that. But anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.